working with patient organizations with some of the consumer groups. And Professor Casey, could you say a little bit about that in terms of, of, of how you work with them and how they support you? Yeah. We we are very fortunate um, to have um, a very good and active and support group. Um, we have the Children's Heartbeat Trust, um, who and and they um, are involved in, in uh, very are very active in supporting parents, but also very active in terms of supporting programs like this. And over the years, the the organisation has. Um, given financial support to this program and other research that we've done, uh, one of the one of the things that parents really benefit from is the contact with other parents who are in the same situation, and uh, so the mutual support, the sharing of of experience, um, and just simply chatting to other parents um, is really very helpful to them. We we. Couldn't I think function as well as as the unit does uh, without the uh, input of of the parent support group. They also tell us, um, you know, w w when you're working within inside the service, then um, you you think you know what what everybody um, should be doing and what they need. But it's very it's very informative for us to um, to hear from parents and, and the parent support group as to. What the parents see as, as being important, and quite often that's that's not medical knowledge. It's very practical things, um, just the things that make the life on a day-to-day -day basis a little bit easier in terms of, of appointments or travel, um, and and bringing a, a child with with having a child with uh, congenital heart disease, the huge impact on a family in terms of of family time, even with other children. Uh, with financial stresses in terms of be the ability to work, and our children's heartbeat trust parent support have been very very good in in uh, guiding uh, both us and the families within that group um, to try and smooth the journey in as much as possible as we can. 